Antonio moved his hand. Neither can I. Oh, God heard our prayers. Antonio's getting better. Okay, but listen, I, I don't want to put a damper on your high hopes, but just be careful about getting too excited, okay? I know it's great that Antonio moved his hand, but I just wouldn't really call it a major miracle. Are you kidding? I would. I mean, this is a real breakthrough. I just know it's a sign that everything's going to be all right. I've got to get over there. Well, I'm, I'm coming with you then. Okay. Damn it to hell. I was so close to getting rid of her and, and having Luis for myself. Oh, I was so afraid that I had made the wrong choice by telling them to administer the experimental drug. Well, it looks like it was more than right. Dr. Wurtz, I hear there's been some change in your brother's condition. He moved his hand on his own. And has he spoken or communicated in any other way with any of you? No, but it was obvious when he took my mother's hand that he knew who she was. Well, I'm afraid we can't jump to that conclusion quite so hastily. No, I know that he knows I was here. That's got to be a good sign, Doctor, no? Of course it is. I just don't want you to get your hopes up too high. Your son's gesture, what appeared to be his taking your hand, may have been merely a reflexive response. No, no, Dr. Wurtz, I'm telling you, you should have seen it. He knew what he was doing. I could tell. If I may finish. When the muscles have been inactive for an unusually long time, they can sometimes have involuntary spasms, which we, because we're, we're so desperate for signs of progress, take to be something more significant. Well, that's not what happened no. here. He knew that it was me. I, I think he still does know that I'm here. I'd like that to be so as much as you would, Mrs. Lopez Fitzgerald. But we can't determine that definitively without a full examination. How long will that take? Not long. Look, I don't want to dampen your hopes. But until Antonio actually regains consciousness or speaks, there's no reason to believe he's making a recovery. I know the doctor has to be guarded. I think it's a good sign that Antonio moved. Of, of course. Imagine what this could mean. Not just for Antonio, but for Luis and Sheridan. It could be the miracle they've been praying for. Ah, oh, Beth, I'm sorry, I wasn't even thinking. No, Hank, it's, it's, it's all right. I was just thinking that myself. This back and forth with Luis has got to be pretty rough on you, Beth. Well, I've always loved him, Hank. That's never changed. That's some powerful kind of love. To be able to put your feelings second to his. Loving, loving him enough to let, let him go back to Sheridan, if that's how things pan out. You're an incredible woman. But I think it's still too soon to know how things are going to come out. We don't know for certain that Antonio will even recover. Of course not. It's just, I'd hate to see Luis and Sheridan disappointed again. They've been through so much already. You have as much as what I've had to endure. Oh. Pilar, how, how are you holding up? As best I can. I just wish the doctor would finish examining Antonio. You never give up on your family, do you? No, never. Faith is what gets me through the darkest hours. And God will answer my prayers. I know he will. Well, I know he'll hear your prayers. And I'm praying for you, too. Thank you, Beth. You're such a good girl. Dr. Wirtz. What's the story, doctor? Is Antonio coming out of his coma? Is he waking up? For God's sake, doctor, please. Is Antonio going to make a recovery or not? It's not for me to say. What does this mean? Hey, could you be more specific? Yeah, if you can't tell us, then who can? How about me? Wouldn't you rather hear from the horse's mouth? Oh, my God. <laughs> 
Oh, my God. Antonio! You're awake! She is a beautiful wife. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God.